For more than three decades, the camp sitting on 141-acre land has been home to thousands of West African nationals. Liberians and Sierra Leoneans fled their countries during civil war and settled at the Budumburam refugee camp. The place is no longer recognized as a refugee camp, but remains home to many. The Goma East District Assembly has handed residents up until the close of day to relocate as a demolition exercise may take place soon. But the residents are making demands. Joseph Akable has the rest of the story. After certain things that you UN used to do, when they stop, when they stop, as a man, you can sit, you know, we are doing something and you have a as life goes on and then you become a father, you need to start doing something to get the support to the one that you... They are treated like a foreigner. Some of them appreciate you, some of them don't appreciate you. Sometimes to the border, immigration is asking you. Sometimes immigration will ask you, when are you going back to your country? Even when you show the resident that you are here. The refugee camp has been home to many Liberian and Sierra Leonean nationals for more than two decades. It became a home following years of civil war. The wars have since ended and United Nations has ceased recognizing the area as a camp for refugees. Some refugees took advantage of the various packages and moved out of the camp. Others, however, continue to live here. I already packed my things and I cannot pack out because they have not come out to my rescue to give my doable solution. They have not given me my doable solution. So I have to stay on the camp. They said they we should leave and we are not get, we're not getting anything from them yet. How can we leave today? So what they have all, they should give it out as you can go. Because if we can give it, we'll stay here in their nose and we'll not leave. And even they break their houses, we'll still be there. When we leave there, the UN will come for us and we can... I will not move. You're saying you're not going to move? I will not move. Because Ghana Refugee Board, Ghana Government, Ghana UNHCR have not applied a three dribble solution for the refugees. That, that is why you see they can't park with Liberians. When they come down with a three dribble solution, they will not see Liberians on their camp here. Everybody will go. The Goma East District Assembly says September 30 is the day residents are expected to relocate ahead of the planned demolition. Solomon Dako Kwam is chief executive. Dissect met and uh, agreed on a two month um, uh, ultimatum, or if you like, moratorium for residents to leave the place. And that, that two months ends today, being uh, 30th of September. Um, after that, um, the rest of the matter is a national security uh, issue. So the demolition, the actual demolition, may commence any time after today. So that is what is going on. And uh, uh, we decided to put out uh, the, that, that final reminder to residents that the, the, the day, the, the last day is here. The residents have their own concerns. I, I didn't pack anything. It's there. If they want to come and break their house of that thing, let them break it. We will go and sleep in the street. Maybe that's what they want. Of Ghanaians, Liberians, Avorians, all of us, we are all one. So they should see about us. They should... Are you going to move from here? Eh? No, when they say we should move from there, you and should come and decide. We are living with you and you and people here. You understand? If they like today, they bring entire Ghana to come to the camp that will stay here. It won't for anything. We have to look at you. And do you want to do both? What is that? Tell your government open border will go back to our country. But if you have to break the house today, I will stay here today. Stay right here. I have nowhere to go. If you see anyone parking that low away, they are Ghanaians. While few of them have packed out, others gathered at the community center to demand adequate relocation package. In here is not in fee. I came here as a refugee. I never came here to hustle. I never came here to cause trouble. I'm a, Liberia is a peaceful country. We love the whole world. The whole world wants to live in Liberia right now. The assembly says its work is to inform the residents of the impending demolition. Budubrem has become so notoriously uh, popular for, for criminal activities. A uh, number of uh, uh, robbers, uh, are often chased to that place uh, for arrests and those things. Uh, I hope you have not also lost sight of the fact that it was just Budumbrim, the same Budumbrim that two able-bodied policemen were gunned down uh, one hot afternoon, um, and uh, several of them. So the security matter uh, challenge is one. 
But that aside, the place itself has outlived its usefulness. By that I mean it has ceased to be a camp since 2010. A date for the demolition is yet to be fixed. For Joy News, Joseph Akable Budumbram. Let's go on to Zoom now and speak to the acting head of the Refugee Board, Tete Paddy. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us here on Joy News Prime. The DCE indicated that you as a board have a responsibility towards a few of the refugees. Uh, how many are we looking at and what exactly uh, are you supposed to do for them? You'd have to unmute, sir, uh, so we can hear you. Sorry about that, honest. Yes, um, we have about 400, over 400 refugees who are still on the camp. Mm. Uh, and these individuals are refugees because at the time that the cessation clause was being implemented for Liberian refugees, they uh, applied for exemption. In fact, about 3,000, over 3,000 persons applied for exemption. And uh, just about 10%. Uh, succeeded in being exempted. So those are the people who are still refugees and those are the people that we are under obligation to find shelter for. Okay, so, uh, I mean, when the camp was de declared non-existent uh, in 2012, there was the option for some of them to integrate. As part of the plan, you were to provide them with a passport, NHIS card, and some cash grant as well. Have you done that? Have you met those obligations? Right, so um, just like correction, the, the, the camp did not cease to exist, but we implemented cessation, which means the end of refugee status for the Liberians. Okay. Um, we have, uh, for those who opted for local integration, what they, were said, what they were telling us was that they wanted to live in Ghana uh, because they had uh, social and economic ties here. They would be able to stay here and look after themselves. They were given a package that included a free passport, a residence permit that was paid for by the Ghana government and the UNHCR, 50-50. Uh, they were given a, a one-year subscription of national health insurance. And then they were given an amount of 400 US dollars. I've heard some of them say 400 cities. Okay. 400 US dollars per adult. And so, for instance, in a household where there are four adults, that was $1,600. Now, this amount of money was meant to be support for shelter. Um, it was not meant to uh, um, give them shelter for the rest of their lives or the rest of their time in Ghana. I remember clearly us telling them that it was meant to assist them to obtain shelter, at least for the first year. Okay. And since they are being given residence and work permits, uh, it is expected that they would work and look after themselves, be able to pay rent the subsequent years and uh, that was the reason why they were given the, 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 the amount of money that they were given. Okay. Uh, some of them are holding on to some sort of a concept paper concerning the closure of the camp, which states, among other things, uh, support for shelter. Uh, uh, that, and that is, you know, one of the reasons why they say they cannot be removed uh, from the camp if you do not provide them. Uh, what is your response to that? Nobody promised to give them houses. What was promised was support for shelter. And that is what I, I mentioned as, uh, I, I indicated as the $400 per adult. And that support was meant to be for a year, um, a year's rent, more or less. Uh, after that, they were expected to be able to rent their own accommodation. And indeed, they were asked to move out of the problem. Mm. So for those uh, 400 people whom you have responsibility towards, have you relocated them already? And where exactly are you taking them? We have engaged them. Uh, we are in the process of uh, registering those who want to be relocated. Mind you, not all of them want to be relocated outside Accra. Our camps are outside Accra. Okay. And so we have engaged them, and we are we are in the process of relocating, making arrangements to relocate those who want to be relocated. If they do not want to be relocated outside Accra, do they have the option of giving them places within the capital? Um. Not within the capital. We don't have any houses or any shelters within the capital. Our camps are located outside of Accra. Mm. So how many do you have? Do you have e enough for all 400 of them? Um, thankfully, the British High Commission assisted us with renovation of some shelters. Uh, we also got some help from the American Embassy. 
Uh, we do not have enough at the moment, but we're working fervently towards uh, renovating some of the uh, uh, rundown structures to ensure that we, we, we are able to host, we are able to uh, accommodate all of them, all those who would want to be accommodated. Now that the time for evacuation has elapsed today, essentially, uh, for those who are still within the camp, can you give them the assurance that before the demolition exercise, which we are not told when, only except that we understand it will happen soon, before that exercise, you will definitely find them a place and that they will not be adversely affected? We're in constant touch with the district assembly who are leading this charge. And um, they, I can assure them that for those who would want to be relocated to a refugee camp, they will not be um, um, taken out of the place before uh, they are ready to move out. How about those uh, outside the exemption fold, the 400 that you are taking care of? If today uh, some of them would want to leave the country to, uh, to their country, uh, back to Liberia, uh, do they have the opportunity? Are you prepared to facilitate their movement? Decide the closure of the border, for instance, as a major challenge. Will you help them? Well, they are Liberian nationals living in Ghana. And if they want to leave, uh, I don't think anybody will prevent them. We have had um, arrangements with government, for instance, where people, Ivorians, for instance, who want to voluntarily return to Cote d'Ivoire have been given uh, passage. And so if indeed they want to return, I'm sure some, some arrangements can be, can be made. Mm. And, and for those who need some support, uh, is the board willing at all um, to help them move, uh, you know, from the, from the camp? Those who are still... Not if, they are, not if they are not one of the uh, over 400 refugees, no. Mm. And so you can assure us that the board has done everything within, its, uh, within the legal framework and you've done right by the people. Absolutely. I can assure you. Thank you very much. That's the uh, acting head of the Refugee Board, Tete Padi, joining us on the issue of the evacuation at Budumbram and, of course, the pending demolition, uh, which will be following up for you.